up? Welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here, and I hope you are having an amazing day today. I am going to be doing a fun little video over the next couple of days, and I'm just going to be doing kind of like a miniature room makeover transformation. I have some ideas that I want to do of things in my room, and I'm actually not going out to purchase anything at all. Like, I'm not purchasing any supplies, any materials, any new furniture, nothing. So I'm hoping that this video can give you guys some ideas of things you can maybe do in your own room or your living room or something like that with stuff you might already own or things you might already have in your supply stash. Now I do want to mention of course that some of these things are not normal things people have but because I am a DIYer and I do this as my job I have a lot of supplies so that's why I'm saying that I am using a lot of things that I already own and I'm not going out and purchasing stuff just because I already have a ton of different wood stains. I already have multiple different paint colors at my house. I already have a lot of different things so the supplies I'm using typically you would go out and purchase but I'm not going to be needing to because I'm literally stuck at home not leaving my apartment at all and isolating myself so I figured I'm going to be doing a fun little room makeover in here while I'm isolating myself because I might as well give myself something to do. I've been wanting to paint this wall for almost like a month and I bought the paint like a month ago and I just have not gotten around to doing it just because so many other projects were coming up. So I kind of just want to jump right in and let's get started. I want to share with you guys the inspiration behind the room design that I'm going for. So basically I was obsessed with this green color when I saw it on a takeout bag, which you guys are going to see later in the video. This is kind of the color that I was going for in the room. So I looked up inspiration based around this color and also came up with a couple of ideas including a gallery wall maybe above my dresser area and then I was also thinking about turning all the metals to black in my room and then also just accenting it with some woods and brasses and more neutral kind of textural tones as well so that's the inspiration behind the room so I figured I might as well give you guys a little room tour and I did not clean up at all for this little makeover so this is literally what my room looks like a lot of the time which is probably not good but I am a busy DIYer so you know I sometimes don't have time to clean it anyways when you walk into the door right here, um, I have some stuff here, which I need to sort through and get all that situated. Then I have my desk area right here. I was watching some YouTube and all of my really pretty artwork. Then over here, I have my clothing rack with my visual interest tote bag available on lonefox.com. Um, and then back here is kind of like my bed wall, I call it, because it's the window here. And I have this peach wall, which if you guys watched my last room makeover, I painted this peach wall in the room makeover. And I, I've been obsessed with it. I absolutely love it still, but I just want to change it up. I have a new vibe that I kind of want to go for and it just seems fun to change it. So here is a plant here. Um, my nightstand is there. Here's my bed. I have my painting supplies. Then over here, this literally looks so cluttery. So I think I might be staining this. I'm not a thousand percent sure yet. And then I just have a ton of different decor up here. My little shelving system that I made with Rachel Metz. And then we have my bathroom over there, which is just a mess of its own. And we have this section over here, which this houses a ton more of my DIY supplies. I just have a lot of cluttery things. So I kind of want to use this video as a organize with me room makeover room transformation on a budget without using or going out and buying any new furniture or supplies. So I'm just going to be doing things with what I already own. And I honestly really want to start off with painting this wall because I'm going to need that to dry before I really do anything else. So I'm going to remove everything from this wall, pull it all back and start working on that. love using the frog tape when painting a wall just because it seems to get a much crisper line than just your usual painter's tape. All right, so I've been taping the wall, but I've run into an issue because I don't know how I'm gonna get to the ceiling because the ceilings are kind of high in here. Like, and as you can see, I can only go up this high and like there's probably another two and a half feet above me. I might have to stand on my desk or something. I'll figure that out. So I just finished taping up the entire ceiling all the way around down and across. I realized that actually my chair is one of those ones that you could sit in it and then like pull the toggle and it lifts and it actually lifted me 
perfectly high enough to be able to tape the ceiling and I also taped around the window area as well. Okay, and I know that this sounds kind of crazy, but these were the biggest pain in my life to put up and I am just going to paint around them because I don't want to even risk taking them down and them not being able to go back up because they were so challenging to put up. I know that's probably not the best, but I'm just being real with you guys. I'm going to paint as good as I can around it and make sure that it just looks really, really nice. I mean, when I move out anyways of this apartment, I'm going to have to paint take those down and paint the entire wall white again so i figure it's not going to be too big of a deal but i'm going to start painting but let me share with you guys the paint color first i want to share with you how i got the inspiration for the wall color so it actually came from this takeout bag of a food restaurant that my roommate and i went to and i loved the color of the bag i was like this is such a cool color and i grabbed a piece of it and thought i would use this as a color swatch so i got to lowe's and basically like tried to find colors that were similar to this one and i ended up originally wanting to go with this colors palette because it was just a little bit more gray toned but then I was like you know what a lot of the inspiration photos I've been looking at had a bit of a brighter green color so then I opted for this one I was just like you know what I'm going to go for something in between both of those so I ended up opting for this color swatch and I went for this color here called green kale I was leaning between the green kale and then this one right here which is cultivar but I actually ended up going with the green kale color which is pretty similar to the swatch but I just liked it a little bit more it just seemed a bit more fun and bright Okay guys, so I have finished probably about three quarters of the wall. I just have to finish up here and I am gonna give it a second coat. I thought at first I was not going to because it was covering so well, but there are some spots, like I don't know if you can see right here-ish, where there's just like a little bit peeking through. So I'm gonna give it one full second coat as well, but of course I'm gonna let this dry first. But I think I'm just gonna finish this off camera um, and then come back in a little bit and update you guys. I just pulled off all of the tape and I am just obsessed. Like I had to share with you, I'm not even done pulling off the tape in the window yet, but I think it just looks so pretty. This color is amazing and I highly recommend this. Again, it's Green Kale by Sherman Williams. The satisfaction of this. All right guys, so I'm actually gonna stick with my same curtains for now, just while I'm staying at home. I actually do wanna go on Amazon and order something that's a little bit more of like a natural tone, that's not the stark white color. Something kind of like a linen-y fabric, like a lightweight linen that's on the more tan side, just because I feel like that will look very chic against this green wall. Okay, so I know I only just painted today, but it's already getting kind of dark. It's about 5.30 right now, the sun is setting. So I think I'm gonna pick up tomorrow and start working on some other DIYs I'm gonna be doing here and some redecorating and some things like that that I'm really excited for so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone welcome to day two of my room makeover so I just woke up I had some coffee and now I'm going to start again working on my room which I'm super excited about so I finished the wall yesterday and I put my bed back in place and I am just obsessed with the wall it is the perfect color you guys like it looks really bright on camera but I swear it's showing up brighter it's honestly a lot darker so I decided that I'm gonna be tackling the space in sections so I have this wall which is gonna be its own section this one back here 
here. I have this wall, which is gonna be its own section, and I have the wall behind me, which is gonna be its own section. And the wall that I wanna do first, or today, is probably this wall here. I have the most like ideas for this wall. I actually wanna take everything off of it. I wanna create a gallery wall. I wanna share with you guys how I hoard frames, because these literally all came out of my closet. Um, I have just a ton of different frames that I've bought for past room makeovers that I've kept because I wanted to use them and just not returned them. This is like one that I had on my wall over here, if you guys remember. This is one my friend Hannah painted for me. I have this frame from Anthropology I got for Bretman's apartment makeover and I never ended up using it. And then I have this old Society6 print and I also have all of these artwork pieces. So essentially I wanna take all of these and all of these and create a gallery wall above my dresser. <laughs> So like this is some of the artwork that I have laid out. Um, I'm not a fan of the tiger. I just like it kind of doesn't go with the vibe of everything else. Everything else is kind of like chic modern, which I like. And I also am kind of changing it. I'm not going to do as eclectic as I thought just because I don't have enough artwork that is eclectic. So I figured I'll do this more modernized art for now, which I think will look really nice. And then maybe in the future I can start collecting art from thrift stores and things and maybe switch them out, you know? So in order to create this gallery wall, I wanted to just clear everything off of the dresser area and I also used a magic eraser just to get rid of any nicks or marks from the prior shelving unit. And then I basically just started hanging up the frames randomly. I used super, super small nails. So if I hammered in the wrong spot, I wasn't too concerned about pulling it out and just moving it over a little bit, but I did try my best to kind of eyeball where I wanted things to go. And I really just experimented putting frames in different areas, different styles, switching the position of them, changing it up a little bit. So I finished off this wall section so far. It's still super messy on the floor, so I'm gonna clean everything up after this, but I'm really excited with the placement of everything. It actually turned out a lot better than I thought. It looks very chic and minimal in my opinion. I do, however, want to change some of the images still. I'm thinking about changing the and sign, this one right here, um, and then this one right here as well. I want to change those to something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm gonna keep them as is. I also have a little photo of myself from Paris in 2018. This is one of my favorite Polaroids. And then I just hung up the color swatch because I thought it added a little bit of a graphic detail, a little Jordan Clark moment right there. And then I have this old piece from Target that I got a while back. First of all, I absolutely love the wood color now. I was 1000% gonna change this. That was one of my biggest things I was gonna do was change the wood color. But I think the light wood against all of this just kind of is a vibe. Also, how good does a green wall with that clothing rack look in the mirror? Like, oh my gosh, I love that view right there. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday I finished up the gallery wall and that's all I did because I'm not gonna lie to you, I finished the gallery wall after a couple of hours and then I ended up playing Animal Crossing for like seven hours. So I just didn't end up doing anything else yesterday, but today I'm going to be doing a lot more in the apartment and I figure that might as well just like space it out. So it gives me time to think about stuff. I decided not to do my hair today because no one's gonna see me other than my 500,000 YouTube subscribers, which guys, we hit 500,000 subscribers, which is absolutely absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Like, I cannot believe that this happened. Like, I'm extremely, extremely excited, and I really wanted to do a subscriber room makeover when I hit 500,000, and I am still going to be doing that. It's going to be like a subscriber room makeover giveaway, um, and I'll probably have a couple other giveaway things too, and that'll just come in a later video once everything in the world's kind of a little bit more situated, so do know that that is going to be coming soon. I just want to thank you guys so much for 500,000, and I cannot wait to see what this year has to bring for Lone Fox. I'm super, super excited. I am going to first start off today by painting my huge Ikea mirror black. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long, long time, and I just never got around to doing it. So I'm going to tape off the entire mirror using some wrapping paper and some tape, and I'm going to bring it out to my balcony, cover the balcony in like some craft paper, and spray paint my mirror because I just want a lot of black accents with this nice green wall.
Something else that I really want to do in here is kind of go through my clothing rack and pull off pieces that I'm not really wearing and replace them with more aesthetic pieces slash pieces that I'm really liking currently. So it's a little bit more inspiring for myself. And yeah, so let's go through these. Exposed clothing racks are extremely fun because you can really play around with the colors on there and the textures and the tones and it kind of just adds an element of personalization to your room like you can really adjust everything on there so you can add such great pops of color take them away if you want to change things up or add new colors like add them with clothing pieces you already have that are typically hidden in a closet it's a really easy way to do it and I love having an exposed clothing rack in my room because it just inspires me a little bit more to dress with the clothing pieces on there Okay, so I added the little basket here. This is from CB2. Uh, by the way, guys, every single thing in this video is gonna be linked. So the desk is from Ikea, chairs from World Market. The artwork is Society6. This is actually from Decenio. Actually going to be adding a wall hook up here and it's just gonna be one of these removable 20 pound wall hooks from Amazon. These are seriously my favorite and they're renter friendly as well and they hold so much weight. And I think it's because it's a large surface area. I'm gonna add this to the ceiling and add a hanging plant. This DIY project is super simple, but looks really expensive and very classy in the end. So I started off by using this pot that I got at Joann's Fabrics a long time ago, and I just always had it in my room as a metal pot, but I ended up deciding to paint the top edge of it with a black acrylic paint, mainly because I ran out of black spray paint. So I painted the top and the inside rim with black acrylic paint. And then once that was fully dry, I grabbed some of that rattan cane, which you guys have seen me use multiple times. This is the same one I used on my Ikea Hutch video. And I am just going to be measuring out the length that I want this to be. And I just made it about two inches taller than the actual pot. And then I wrapped it around and cut where I felt like it would be fully wrapped around the actual pot. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. So I'm basically pushing this underneath the rim of the pot and gluing it down at the side. That way the rattan sticks together. So you're just going to evenly glue that. Then pull Pull it out from the original base, add some glue to the top, that way when you press that rattan back down inside, it creates this super cute planter which I just love so much more than the original silver pot. Something else that I wanted to do during this makeover was actually clear a lot of the clutter out from underneath my bed. So as you can see, I kind of went ahead and I tried to push everything into the back a little bit more so that the front was a little bit open. When you're down at this angle, of course, you could see things, but standing up, you can see literally nothing. And I really want to display a little bit more of my bed frame because I feel like it adds a bit of interest to my bed. So I'm gonna be tucking all my blankets actually into the end and then seeing how that looks, which I'm really excited about because I feel like it's just going to add a little bit more of an air vibe. So I actually opted to hang up my 100,000 subscriber plaque because this has never been hung up. It's always just been sitting on the sidelines of my room. And then my little signed Banks artwork because she's one of my favorite artists and she signed me a record that I framed. So I added those to the wall above my desk area. It is the next morning and I am ready to reveal the room. I spent last night just kind of making some random little tweaks here and there and I also cleaned my entire room. I did a full on vacuum. I washed literally all of the walls with a dry erase marker if there was anything, not a dry erase marker, a dry, wait, what? A magic, 
I used a magic eraser to erase any marks on the walls and I also went ahead and just put everything else away that was on the floor and cleaned everything up so it is honestly just time for the reveal so the only thing that I actually spent money on for this transformation was the gallon of paint I used and then also the painting tools so those are the only two things I purchased for the entire room makeover and I don't want to say that this is like a $50 room makeover but it definitely is a $50 room transformation because I just upcycled some things I already had kind of organized some decor that I had differently as well and just kind of played around with some stuff but the impact that one wall can really create to your room is amazing and also spray painting the mirror and the desk was such a change as well let me share with you guys my transformed room enjoyed today's video it was a fun transformation for me for sure and it definitely gave me something to do over the weekend I even spent Monday doing it it took me Saturday Sunday and Monday to do the full makeover and I'm just obsessed with it like look at this nice aesthetic background I am in love and I just want to thank you guys so 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 much for following along and subscribing to my channel and if you are not already make sure to subscribe to be a part of the Lone Fox family all you have to do is click that subscribe button and then click the bell icon next to it that way you are notified every time I upload brand new videos and also again I just want to wish everybody a super super safe week everyone make sure to stay home as much as possible only go out if you literally have to get food i have i don't even, i haven't gone out in the past week at all so i 100 percent want to use this platform to let everybody know to stay home for sure do a little room transformation see what you have see what you can use to diy some stuff you might already have and hope that you got a little bit of inspiration from this video um so definitely give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy if you would like more videos like this let me know and last but not least everything i did feature is going to be linked in the description box below for you guys to take a look at but thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you all in my next video have an amazing day bye guys <laughs>